Welcome back, everybody. Dr. Larry Crabb is a well-known psychologist, Bible teacher, and speaker, a very popular author and founder of New Way Ministries. He has written 28 books, some of them you might be familiar with, Inside Out, The Marriage Builder, something we all need, Shattered Dreams, Soul Talk, and his latest book, When God's Ways Make No Sense. And now he is here in the River City for his seminar, Soul Talk, that is happening today and tomorrow at Mandarin Presbyterian Church. So we appreciate you coming in, Dr. Crabb. Glad to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, and I know this church is excited to kick off this weekend. It's two days of conversations. So explain why you call it a Soul Talk. Soul Talk, because I believe there are deep things going on in people's hearts that hardly ever get observed or talked about. A lot of us put a particular face on things and smile very nicely while inside there's all sorts of things going on. Mm -hmm. And I would like Christians and people in general to know what it means to talk to the deepest part of a human being. Because I, I love it when we say, like, how are you doing? Yeah, nobody right, really thanks. wants to hear how you're really doing, right? No, nobody wants to hear. You simply find thanks and call that a relationship. Mm -hmm. And I think that's very sad. Nothing's wrong with being polite and courteous and all that. But where's the opportunity for conversations that make a difference in people's lives? And that has to be taught. It doesn't necessarily come natural to everybody. Uh, it doesn't come naturally to anybody, I don't think. Mm -hmm. I had to go to five years of graduate school to start talking to people right. in a different way, yeah. And uh, yeah, I think it's a, it's a very unnatural, but once you get used to it, it's like riding a bike. Right. Once you get understanding of what really is going on in people and in your own heart and your own soul, then it kind of flows yeah. in a much more meaningful way and people respond. It's interesting because it's almost, when, when you know someone's going through something, mm. it's almost hard to ignore it. Yeah. You know, you can go up and how are you doing? If you know they're not doing good, yeah. then it's up to you to kind of probe deeper if you really do call yourself a Christian and a friend. And there are times when you probe deeper that people deflect and resist mm. because they're scared that once I'm known, will I be wanted? And one of the wonderful things about Christianity, in my understanding, is that the, if, if God knows us better than anybody else, and he wants us more than anybody else, then to be wanted at your worst is a rather rare experience that is available in God. Wow. So your idea over the next couple of days is to teach the church to engage a little better and, and go a little deeper with the members. Well, the word teach kind of scares me a little okay. bit because <laughs> I don't think anybody's an expert in soul talk. Right. I think we all have to learn. I have a PhD, but I don't think that qualifies me to call myself an expert. I want to just be a, an old man that's been around, around long enough to think a little bit and see if I can share some of those thoughts with the church this weekend. Right, so share those thoughts and that's maybe they'll, do. They'll, they'll learn some things. I want to give them a vision for what could be. Right. Uh, that, that the church should be more than sitting in a pew on Sunday morning, singing for a while, hearing the sermon, saying fine thanks when you're asked how you're doing, going home. Mm -hmm. A church ought to be a community. And this church longs to be to, to grow in becoming more and more of a community. Yeah. And they've invited me here to see if I could encourage getting a vision for what that means and how we can go about it. And the senior pastor, Kevin Pound, talked about meeting you and said it was a, a really impactful week for him when he did that. And you talk about these conversations that matter. Mm. What, are, what are some of those topics? Because it's not just you, it's, it's kind of the world and how we, how we operate in this world as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, what, what actually matters? Um, there's a, my, my favorite... Um, my favorite psychiatrist is a fellow named Irvin Yalom. He's a professor at Stanford University, a brilliant man. And one of his most famous lines that I love is that he talks about the tragedy of an unobserved life. And I believe that a, a talk that matters, a conversation that matters is one that um, gets into the fears, the anxieties, the concerns, the struggles, and finds that there really is hope in the middle of the worst kind of thing. And what is that hope? That's got to be identified so people can deal with their real fears and real struggles without hiding and just pretending they're doing just fine and getting on with their lives. Makes your face go, ah, because those are hard conversations to those have. Can be hard and conversations. you're a psychologist, so you, you can kind of yeah. pair this. And, and you said it's an interesting connection between that and theology. Yeah, that really, really is. I think that, you know, I was trained in psychotherapy, big fancy word, mm -hmm. but the word psycho actually comes from the Greek word suke, which means soul. And even Sigmund Freud, who was no friend of Christianity, he said that, that what, what we call psychotherapy really is treatment of the soul. Mm. And I agree with that. Right. And I want to see what it means to move into people's depths and to find out what's really going on and to find answers in the middle of it all. I feel like I want to sit here and talk to you for the next hour and pour out everything going on. Thank you so much for sharing with us. A great opportunity for this church to have you this weekend and My to share. Privilege to be there. And again, the registration is still open. They thought they would close it midweek and they decided to leave it open a little longer. So if you're interested in the Soul Talk seminar, it is tonight from 7 to 9 p.m. And then again tomorrow at 8.30 in the morning until 4 p.m. So two days where you can hear from Dr. Crabb.
It will be at the Mandarin Presbyterian Church on Loretto Road. And again, you can still register online. It's mandarinpres.com. They will not turn you away. We'll post that link along with this interview on our website, newsforjax.com. Thanks for coming in. Thank you.